Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and welcome to episode 6 of my SPAD 13 build. Today we'll start this episode with masking that troublesome upper wing. You can see here that I'm using a dental pick to seat all the masking tape into all the grooves. This will hopefully stop any bleed through when I spray. Now for some spraying. I'm using my HS Evo CR Plus here, giving a bit of a run out. Mmm, Neuer. You even get a pin badge. Hey, where's Teddy? Ah, there he is. There we go, the red is done. That didn't take long, did it? Well, of course it didn't. I've got my speedy uppy thing. Now for masking the fuselage. Ready for spraying the red stripes.
And there we go, all mashed up and ready to go. Bit like Dick Turpin. Well, I've certainly got the close-up of my hand down to a T. All nice and red. I've managed to knock a PE part off. Oh well, it's not the first and definitely won't be the last, but that comes later. I am so sorry guys, I thought I was recording when I uh, unmasked the top wing and I wasn't. And it's turned out awesome, I'm so chuffed with it. At least I managed to record the unmasking of the fuselage which turned out pretty good. There you go, not too shabby, pretty impressed with myself there. See, I'm even learning to show it properly, I'm getting there. I popped one of the rigging lines, so I'm here just super gluing it back on. There we go, all done. Now to cover the overspray and the orange that's on the white. Wish me luck! All done, and there goes another rigging line. <sighs> Let's get that fixed. Luckily, this one had just popped out its hole. That was a nice easy fix. You see those two red stripes? They go round the left and right side of the cockpit so I didn't really need to spray it, but personally, I think it looks better sprayed. Now for the buff on the underside of the upper wing.
that's done. So a quick check of the upper surface to make sure there's no overspray and there is none. Woohoo! Right, I'm learning here. I noticed that I was getting grubby fingerprints all over the place, so I've decided to use gloves to try and stop that. A test fitting of the top wing to see where we are and what we need to do. Well, looking at that, I can see that there is some more fettling to be done on the upper wing. So, up with the rotary tool and let's get this sorted. I think that's about ready to be glued together now. I'm using Loctite 60 second as it will give me some time to mess about with the wing and get it right. Hopefully. One, two, three, four. All sets of braces have now been done. Get in. Now it's time to check them out and see how bad it is. See what damage I have to repair. as bad as I expected, just the one that's popped out can get that sorted now. I thought I was too lucky there, a couple of the inners have popped out so now I've got to sort those out. Sorting those out has bent one of the outer braces. I'm now going to have to take a small section out of that brace to allow it to sit straight. Here we go.
There's that one sorted. Now to tighten up the rigging and glue it into place. There we go, the rigging done. What do you think of that then? For my first crack at rigging, I'm quite chuffed with it. Did I say rigging done? I've just found one that popped. Oh, great. Here we go, this should be all the rigging done now. Second time lucky? E, second time lucky. Now for some touching up of the white. That's looking good, so now we can crack on with the aileron rods. They're in, and guess what? Another pop rigging line. Better get this one fixed. That's done. Now to get the guns in place.
those were really thin. I think I should have done those before I put the top wing on. Same with my next bit of PA. A couple of braces that run from the engine cow to the fuselage braces. Luckily, these went on an absolute treat. We also reattached the cover on the engine cow. done even if I say so myself. I'm happy with that. Now we come to the tragic bit. That reminds me of a song I know. Buying, oops, I don't think I should have pressed so hard. So I'm gonna have to try to straighten it. Oh well, here goes. Well, we'll just have to see how that turns out at the beginning of the next episode. So there you go for this episode. Remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many models as possible, like the video, ring my bell, and remember, stay safe, keep on modeling.